Hello everyone, right, I'm going to redo this, I've just done this video and I'm going to do it again and split it into two. So, this video is on how to take, uh, how to grow your own apple tree rootstocks. Now, I've done this for many years and it's always very successful. These little sticks here are going to grow into new apple tree rootstocks. Uh, MM106 rootstocks, which is a semi-dwarfing variety. How do I grow these? Well, initially, you would have to buy some MM106 rootstocks. And um, once you have used them, they will usually come in about a three foot long length, meter long length. And you have roots at one end and a big long stalk at the other and to graft your chosen apple variety onto that rootstock you need to remove the top part of the rootstock and in future years should you wish to grow your own rootstock you can then take the tops that you have cut off and simply thrust them into the ground about halfway up their length so if you cut the rootstock into uh, nine inch lengths, put about four inches into the ground with three inches protruding and in a year that cutting will form roots and will become a new MM106 rootstock. Now I get about 90% success rate doing this. Um, the best place to thrust these little cuttings is in a semi-shady um, a patch of earth that is clear of any weeds and whatever and you just leave it alone until uh, next January or February and you can gently dig it up see how, how well it has rooted and if you have uh, quite a lot of nice fibrous roots fair enough you use that as your new root stock and you will graft your apple tree variety onto it if you haven't got enough roots then you simply replant it and wait till the following year so that is how you grow your own root stocks while I was here in the raised bed but that I would give you an update on these apple tree rootstocks. Now I took these rootstocks uh, two months ago, three months ago and basically these were uh, leftover uh, top growth from the apple trees that I grafted and uh, I don't waste them, I just cut them into foot long lengths and put them in the ground and as you can see most of them have taken, some of the thinner ones like this one here haven't but that's a pretty good success rate and each of these will grow into an MM106 rootstock which I can next year graft another apple variety onto because despite having 15 apple trees already, you can never have enough apples. Um, seriously though, I will probably either sell them on or give them as gifts to friends when I've grafted a variety on them. But that's pretty good going uh, for a couple of months. And underneath the ground, these will be forming small shoots. So they'll be left there until February and then I'll dig them up and pot them on into individual pots. So, there you go. Um, these are the cuttings from the rootstocks that I grafted last last February, this February, so we're now at the end of September and although we have had a horrendous drought this summer, I have been watering these and keeping an eye on them and because the cutting um, wood was quite thick, um, so at least pencil thickness, these have survived and all rooted. Now, I did have originally about 10 in here, so two, three, four, five. I have five successfully rooted brand new MM106 rootstocks. Um, 
there's a failure. So if you want to look like what a failure looks like, there is absolutely no green on it. And absolutely no roots. So that's for the fire pile. And I've just inserted these three in here now. So um, I've just taken off some uh, growth from the grafted Ellis bitters and I've put them in and we'll see if they're out. I should know by April or May next year uh, if we have new leaves appearing then they'll have rooted and I can pot them up and move them um, and we will see what happens. But these little beauties will all make brand new apples and I will be using them to show everyone how to do grafting in February. So it's October now um, and we will be grafting these with uh, nice apple varieties uh, in February. Now, you see, this is what happens when you come out here, you get distracted. So John's just sent me out to pick some tomatoes, which I've done. But I'm now going to look at these apple tree rootstocks because I think I need to give you a wee update on these. Um, so I'll just put the tomatoes down before I have an incident. So as you can see, there's a lot of growth here. I mean, this one here is actually near enough four foot high. And... There's been an awful lot of growth, been a good summer, and there's been an awful lot of growth in the side shoots. So if I just show you that, you'll see lots of side shoots coming out like that. Now, when I'm going to use these as root stalks, a lot of this is going to come off because I'm going to graft the new variety about six inches from the ground level. And you're going to say, well, that's an awful lot you're cutting off. But these will be rooted into this patch as uh, rootstock cuttings again. So the cycle continues. And this is why I'm not cutting these side branches off. Because when it comes to grafting time and replanting these as new rootstocks, I'm just going to cut that. And that will become a new rootstock. So, really pleased with them. And I think we lost about three. But the majority of these ones will be ready to graft in February. And do you remember at the beginning of the video I had these wee tiny ones? They've all taken. But I won't be grafting them next year. There's another one and another one. So they'll be left to grow on to the following year. So that's pretty successful. I think I have only lost about three. So, and it's not been as dry here as it was last year. Last year we had a terrible drought. Um, and the good thing about this bed is it's really well mulched and it's quite deep. So um quite pleased with that. So give it a go. It's a great way for you to grow your own rootstocks, which you can then graft in February with your chosen variety. So you'll either buy scions or you'll go to your friend's garden and say, oh, you've got a lovely Bramley tree. I'd like a scion off of that. And then you'll have your rootstock ready to go. And you just need to watch one of my grafting videos to see how to do it. Um, you can see in front of you some rootstocks and this little video is going to teach you how to save money and grow your own apple tree rootstocks. So you've seen that I had rootstocks in a pot which I cut the tops off of to um, graft on the new cyamood and this is the leftovers from that cut and you can see they're about two foot long and what I do is simply cut these in half and insert them into the ground 
to about three inches deep and these are in a slightly shady place and these will grow roots and turn into new apple rootstocks MM106 for next year and I'll be able to graft some more apple trees onto them so it is simply excuse me I'm trying to do this all myself today a case of cutting so that's about nine inches long and just literally find a space and push that into the ground about two to three inches deep and leaving that and by this time next year these may have some leaves on them but they will have 90% have rooted and they will turn into new apple rootstocks.